uh, ever since I've been here on YouTube, the one common thing thing that I've seen from every fan base that I've dealt with, whether it's Nintendo fanboys, Xbox fanboys, and, and PlayStation fanboys, is this claim of media bias. Now, now here, here here's the thing that I wanted to make very clear, right? This is not a defense. This is not a defense of the media. That's first things first. You know, between their selective coverage of Anita Sarkeesian to the overall, you know, the thing that happened with Gamergate, I don't trust the media. But the one thing that needs to be said, the one thing that needs to be made abundantly clear in this video, and this is regarding the Xbox fanboys, is that you guys don't give a flying fuck about media bias. About the ethics of, of game coverage. You guys don't give a flying fuck about that. For two reasons. Number one is because if the roles are reversed, obviously you guys will be up you guys will not be bitching and complaining about this. But that that's the truth for all fanboys. But secondly and most importantly, you guys use the media as a scapegoat to why the PS4 is number one. Right? Because you see the thing with Xbox fanboys is this, right? They believe that any feature that they see that they perceive the Xbox One has over the PS4 is it's supposed to be like a deal breaker for all for everybody for all gamers right whether it's the controller the online the games the uh you know whatever program that microsoft has whatever whatever exclusive microsoft has they feel like those things should be the deal breaker when it comes to what what console someone buys right they, they, when, but when they, but when they see that most people prefer the PS4, you know, they can't explain it, right? Cause they, cause to them, they don't know why, why do people like these garbage ass exclusives? Why do people like these, you know, these weirdo Japanese games? You know, what I mean, like they, they can't, they can't comprehend it. They can't understand why somebody would prefer a PS4 over the Xbox One, and that's when you have the game, the media by scapegoat right there in their back pocket to explain it to explain it because they can't show they can't show proof they can't show proof they can they can talk about oh well the, when the you know ps4 gets more coverage yeah when you release more games yeah you're gonna get more coverage you know what i mean <laughs> i mean pretty much but the thing is that they have no proof when it comes to media bias they don't that's why they have that in their back pocket they can point to all oh, the media this and the media all oh, the media is always bashing xbox which is not true but they always point to an example of, of journalist A saying this or journalist B saying that. But the funny thing is, if they said something positive about Xbox, if they said something negative about PS4, what would these assholes do? Would they be crying media bias? No. What they would be doing is linking those articles and favoring, and favoring those tweets. That's it. The same media that they want to bitch and complain about are the same media that they would be praising and, and going on and, 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 you know, highlighting their articles. That's why these guys are such a easy, easy target for clickbait. Because they're, they're easily triggered by any negative Xbox One news. And that's a fact. They're easily triggered by, 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 the, by these fucking, by all these news articles that are not praising the ground that, my, that Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg, and the rest of the Xbox walks on. It's clear as day what's going on here. And the funny thing is that these guys would go on and on about media about media bias going on everywhere. But then, but then, they will sit there and link in favorite articles by by these fanboy sites that are pro-Microsoft. Like, like, like Xbox Mad. They sit there, they follow these fucking losers on Big Gamer Small Talk who are clearly having an agenda against Sony. They will clearly they they and they won't even bat an eye on it. They they'll link the articles, they'll link they'll favorite, they'll follow these guys, and and they'll and they'll and they'll you know they'll talk those guys up as if those guys aren't biased towards Xbox because at the end of the day that's what they want the media to be. They want the media to be pro Xbox, not pro fairness. They don't care about that. They want the media to be pro Xbox. A lot of the same dudes who sit there and talk about how the gaming journalists should be fair and balanced and how they shouldn't ha take sides and they sit there and, and they bemoan the fact that guys like Colin Moriarty and Greg Miller exist while they also follow guys like 
Ryan McCaffrey. Why? Because he has a clear bias towards x -Y. Now, this is not a knock on Ryan McCaffrey. I, I'm actually a big fan of Ryan McCaffrey. But the funny thing is that these are the same people who talk about how, oh, this guy, this journalist and that journalist shouldn't, ha shouldn't should be fair. But they're the same people who will follow Ryan who, who is pro Xbox. And even he, whenever he says something nice about Sony and PlayStation, he gets to burn the attack from a lot of these dudes. The same thing goes for Phil Spencer. <coughs> The head guy at Xbox. Anytime he says something positive about PlayStation, he gets attacked. Like he gets attacked. You see, you like, you see people get attacked for anything if it's not pro Xbox. You see streamers get attacked by showing too much PS4 gameplay. You see, you see guys who who are who, guys and girls. Who, who were once known as being pro Xbox, anytime they say something positive about PlayStation, they get attacked. You see, like I said earlier, journalists get attacked by Xbox dudes. Like, hell, you... Hell, you even see, like, like stuff like, you know, VG charts, NPD, they get accused of being biased. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, it's gotten to that point where we have, like, we have, like, chart like, Stuff that that charts data be clean be be called bias. Why? Because at the end of the day, they need something to explain why the PS4 is number one. It can't be nothing. It can't be the games. It can't be the controller. It can't be the community. It has to be media bias, and that's the problem that we. That's what that's what the issue is. It has nothing to do with. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with any type of conspiracy about the Xbox brand. At the end of the day. They can't handle the fact that their favorite piece of plastic is number two. That's the end of the argument. That's the end of the argument. There is nobody that can argue with these facts. That's what the problem is. The problem is that they're not number one. And that's what they want. And the worst part about all of this is that since ever since the Scorpio was announced, right? Most Xbox fanboys you'll see and fans, Xbox fans and fanboys alike. <coughs> Will have some sort of emblem on their name on their on their Twitter tag, right? And every time you see these journalists get attacked, anytime you see these journalists get called bias and you know ponies and all the other bullshit, a lot of the time you'll see the emblem highlighted there. And I've seen and I've seen countless journalists pick pick on that. And what and you know obviously when someone tells them what it is. Then they're like, oh, well, you know, I'm getting a whole bunch of... Now I know where, where I can identify Xbox fanboys. That's not a good look for you. That's not a good look for the community. And that's not a good look for the brand. Not at all. That's not a good look all the way around. And it's and it stinks that a lot of the traditional Xbox fans have to suffer because of this. Because, because again, they are the minority. These guys are the minority. But in, in, on Twitter, the minority may look like can look like the majority real quick. Especially when you have a lot of these dudes, a lot of these fucking trolls who who, who need something that who need something to validate their purchases. So they need something. So they'll favorite the tweets, they'll retweet all the other stuff to make themselves feel good about the fact that they are they're one of the few people out there who's for who's who at least in their minds that prefer Xbox that prefer Xbox One. And that's the saddest part of them all because. Though their their actions, their stupidity affect can affect the entire group of people, entire group of legit Xbox gamers out there, who who want, who all they care about is is playing is wanting to see the brand get better. That and that and that's it. <clears throat> that's really all I have to say. This will be one eight six. I'm out.